right guys I am back at the thrift store it's been a while since I've been here I mean I'm at the porcelain doll section I mean they are filled to the top with dolls I have not dug in there to see what they have I'll take a look at some of the box ones it's like a cloth leg but the face is like a vinyl or something um, but yeah so many dolls like look at this huge one what is this one about oh okay this is like I guess a maybe St. Patrick's decor of some sort um, that doll looks like a Princess Diana type of doll um, lots of these little ones here seated ones there's one with Japan like a Japan flag I know I always say that oh look at this one she's handmade I always say that I'm because sometimes I like their clothes so I always say that I'm gonna one of these days just buy one for their clothes but very interesting oh this one a cute little sailor type of outfit um yeah I'll, I'll dig in here and see if there's anything interesting to note um, but yeah, it's a lot of dolls in this section today. So I am at the fashion doll section. Um, it's not like as filled. If you look up there, like there's a lot of empty spots. Um, so it's not as filled as that other uh, area. Oh, she's interesting. Um, oh, there's a Cinderella. I don't know that I have a Cinderella in my Disney collection. She's a superstar. I can't really tell. Let's see. What are these? It's different. Huh. This is interesting. It's one of those. I forget one of these. Isn't he the guy from like the Hunchback of Notre Dame? I, I don't think I've ever seen him in person. Bottom use body. Probably a holiday Barbie. Looks like a clone. Dollar store type on. She's wearing like a Pocahontas outfit. Another Cinderella. It's funny, like where do all of their outfits go? Is what I I wonder about that. Oh, that's interesting. She's like a brat of some sort. I've never seen that before. Look, her shoes are interesting. She's articulated. She does have a little bit of something on her face, but I'll hold on to her. She's different. And I'm kind of like a little bit into the brats but today i did tell myself that i was going to be selective because i do have like two boxes of dolls that i need to clean up plus my rainbow high dolls that i also need to um you know like wash off their gel like hair gel like this dress looks cool but feels very lightweight i can't tell who that is Oh, look, a bell doll, and she even has her outfit. That's kind of cool. Looks like a Rapunzel back there. The live doll. I had to pause. Um, so yeah, this one is a um, live doll, I guess. She has some sort of outfit. There's two of them here. I think I saw another one somewhere. Um, I don't know. I'm not seeing her now, but. She's kind of interesting. Look, she has like pretty colorful hair. Her hair doesn't look to me like bad shape or anything. I did find a couple of bags that I already put in my cart and I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but those are, I think, the only. And another like 80s Barbie. Um, I think those were the only like dolls that I think I might be getting. Uh, 
I'm sorry. I hope that I'm like showing you guys everything. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys. This is this boy here. Let's see what's over here. I don't think there's anything there. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys what I got. All right, so something that I had found were these two dolls, which I think are gem and hologram type dolls. And I've never seen these before. I actually have some of their outfits, which is awesome because I never find these with any clothing. <laughs> Um, and then I found this one, which is, I think, a Barbie clone, and I don't really have any clones in my collection, not vintage-looking ones like this one, so I might get this. Oh, here. That's where the other lip doll was. So I might get that. Okay, so I am in the big doll section. There's not a lot here. It looks like some sort of vintage ballerina doll, um, and then some Cabbage Patch type of dolls. and. A black cabbage patch doll, which I don't think I've ever seen one in person. Um, but her face has a little bit of a thing. And then this doll here I thought was interesting. She's a German doll. I think it's a vintage German doll. So she has a really cute face mold. And almost reminiscent to like American girl. Did you find a baby? Um, but not too much. So this is all they have um, in terms of the big dolls. So I'm gonna go to the front of the store and see if they have anything else up there. All right, guys, so I am back home and I did not get too many things today. They didn't really have a lot in the fashion doll section. Uh, I suspect they were probably going to be uh, stocking, you know, that area, but I had to leave. So <laughs> I don't know if they got any more good stuff afterwards, um, but it's okay because I did tell myself um, I was going to be selective if they had a lot of stuff because I still have like two big boxes that I need to go through and clean up. So i cannot be adding more dolls if i can't keep up with the dolls that i have and also i need to figure out a way where i'm going to display all that because my collection right now is like every shelf is kind of full right now so i need to reorganize everything and i'll show you to you guys in a minute so you guys can understand how messy it is right now but anyway so i got these jam and the hologram type dolls um i don't think i've ever seen these before uh, so it's interesting and it's interesting that they have some of their clothes because I never find them with their clothes. So it's going to be interesting to see them. And I don't know if her coloring is like this due to time or if it's going to like clean up. Maybe it's just dirt. I don't know. So that was $5.49 and I did have a 20% off coupon. Then I got this other bag. It was $5.49 also, but it was mostly for this doll. I just thought... You know, she's kind of like a Bratz doll, I guess. Pretty sure it is a Bratz doll, but she has some articulation in her leg. Um, and then she has these really big shoes, which are interesting. Um, but yeah, she just has this slightly mark, small mark there, but I feel like that could be easily cleaned up. Uh, and her hair is not so terrible. And then in that bag, it was this odd Esmeralda doll, um, which would probably be redonated. This other bag was $4.49 and I got it mainly for this clone, Barbie clone doll. I've never, I don't have any of these type clone dolls. And so I just thought she was interesting, you know, to have in the collection. I think it says a U there. So is that like a Unita? Is that the name of that manufacturer that they had some clone dolls? So that's interesting. And I don't know how old this really is though. Um, if anyone knows, let me know. And then this lip doll was also in there. She actually has a really beautiful face. And the skipper, so that was $4.49. And then I also want to share with you guys some of the newer dolls that I got recently. Just, just as long as I'm here, I might as well show it to you guys. So I got these two um, Girl for All Time dolls. Uh, they were on sale. They were 50% off, so I couldn't resist. And I've been wanting this doll for so many years. I can't believe it took me this long to get her. So I'm so glad that she was available. Uh, that's Clementine and her outfit is super cute and super nicely made. And this one is, uh, is it Nisha or Nisha? Um, and I changed out her outfit because I wanted her to kind of fit in with the other period dolls that I have from that brand. Um, but this is her original outfit here. Uh, some really nice shoes there. Uh, and then I also got, um, I haven't really been actively collecting pull-ups. But somebody was selling the stock of Pula Vesta, and I thought it was going to go really well with my uh, Pull Up Another Queen uh, doll. So I got it to try it out on her. Her scalp is a little loose there, but, um, but I think she looks really good. Um, 
in this outfit. So I had not bought a pull-up related thing in so many years. And then that per same person was also selling this stock, um, which I forgot the name of this doll, but it's gonna look really good on the custom that I have. So I'm super excited about that. And then this doll literally just arrived in my doorstep. This is um, one of the new fashion model dolls. Uh, is, is she like platinum swirl? What What is her name? Let's see if it's on. Yeah. Swirl ponytail Barbie. So yeah, so she just arrived. I don't think I'm going to do like a separate unboxing for her or anything. Oh. Um, but yeah, she's really, really beautiful. I was actually really pleasantly surprised at how pretty she is in person um because i was not too excited about her outfit it's just black and a little plain but the doll kind of makes it she's very elegant so anyway guys that's all i got recently thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you next time oh actually let me show you guys um here you go so that's what my collection looks like right now so just see how it's messy because I was rearranging the rainbow high. So that's why they're there with the jean dolls. Um, but yeah, I have just lots of things to like rearrange and figure out. I was going to put all the rainbow high here, but they don't fit in this bookcase. So I'm going to have to switch things around again. And same with the Barbies and, and all of these dolls. You see, so there's so much like just out of place and messy right now. So... I really need to figure out uh, what I'm going to do about <laughs> these displays. Um, and here we have um, more like pull-ups um, and more uh, dolls here. And then I have my Nancy dolls and my Disney dolls. And then down here, see, they all they got knocked down and I, I didn't fix them yet. Um, and this one here, she was a thrifted doll uh, that I recently cleaned up and I found this outfit on like eBay for really cheap. So I'm glad that I kind of put her together uh, there. But yeah, as you guys can see, my shelves are kind of cramped right now. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do about these dolls. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.